Hello and welcome to another installment of FormatCColon.com tutorials. In these tutorials we pick apart and explore topics pertaining to desktop platforms, server administration, network administration, virtualization, web development, and pretty much everything in between. For more in-depth information on any of our topics, please visit our site at www.formatcolon.com where you can find a full step-by-step -step text version of all of the commands and steps performed in each of the video tutorials here, along with tons more videos including tips, tricks, and much more. Hello again, and welcome to another formatcolon.com tutorial. Uh, tonight I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up multiple Git repositories to push your code to. So the idea being that we might have multiple repositories and in this case for this particular example I'm going to use a project that I've been working on um, in another tutorial series and that's this MyMovieDB. And so you'll notice here that I'm on GitHub and I have my entire project pushed up to GitHub because I'm, I'm using GitHub. But I've also created a repository here on Bitbucket and I have that same exact uh, project pushed up to Git Bucket, but then I also have a local repository called Git Lab, and I've got my entire project pushed up to Git Lab as well. And I'm not saying that you should, you know, use all three of these at the same time. I have all three set up just because, you know, these are the three big guys in my opinion, and um, I'm just kind of using these for demonstration purposes. Generally, um, in a lot of uh, my particular circumstances, I have my own Git Lab repository server set up uh, at my house and whenever I do any code changes to any of my projects I push it up to my private repository so that I've got it here locally and then I also use Bitbucket and then I push it up to, to Bitbucket so it's all kind of backed up and good to go um, I actually don't use GitHub for my uh, other projects so generally you're gonna maybe want to use it for like two um, or maybe you want to keep a private repository on GitHub and you know a, a public repository on GitLab or on Bitbucket or vice versa, whatever the case may be. Um, what I just wanted to show you really quickly was how to go ahead and set it up so that when you create any changes within your project and you go to do a get push, you can do a get push to all three or two or however many repositories that you want to with the same command. And so the, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm what I'm just going to do is we've got kind of like a readme file. I'm just going to create like a new uh, file here that you'll see that I don't have. I'm just going to name it like uh, multi-push. And so you'll see that we don't have that multi-push file here anywhere, um, nor do we have it in our project root on either of the other um, repository servers that I've got here. And so I'm just going to kind of go over to my web server and uh, I'm already kind of in my project root here. If I do a PWD, you'll see I'm in var www.html mymovieDB.local, which is going to be you know the the project root for this particular project. And if I look, I've got my um, I've got you know my .get folder, which is going to contain all my Git configurations. And so I'm just going to go ahead and go into that .get folder, and uh, inside of that folder, there's going to be a config file, and that's going to hold the uh, major you know configuration parameters for uh, Git. So if I go ahead and edit that file, um, you'll see I actually, you know, in, in a previous uh, tutorial, I was kind of going through and demonstrating, you know, Bitbucket versus GitHub versus um, GitLab. But essentially, in order to be able to push to multiple repositories at the same time, all I need to do is just have multiple URL statements. I can also set up like different remotes and do like a remote origin, a remote Bitbucket, a remote whatever. I like to do it really simple. I like to keep everything nice and nice and clean and nice and simple. So I just kind of stick everything into uh, remote origin. And so you'll notice I've just got my uh, URL for my Bitbucket URL. I've got my URL for my GitHub URL. And then I've got my URL for my GitLab URL. And if I go ahead and just save that file with the three URLs in there and then uh, back up into my project root. And if I look, um, again, I don't have, let's see, I'm going to make a, a file just called, uh, let's see, touch. Uh, multi push dot text and so now I have that file sitting right here and you'll notice here now if I go ahead and I do a git add all git commit dash m demo for multi repo push and then do a git push origin master. 
you'll notice that we go through and we do one, two, and three. So one command, and I literally just push to Bitbucket, then I pushed to GitHub, then I push to my local repository server. And if I go back to those, now you'll notice if I go back to my uh, GitHub here and I just do another and do a refresh real quick, you'll see that I now have dun, dun, dun. I now have that multi push.txt file that I just created. If I go over to Bitbucket and do a refresh, I have that multi push.txt file. And if I go over to my GitLab instance and refresh, I have that multi push.txt file. So one command push to multiple Git repositories, nice and clean and simple, and it allows me to have my code in multiple places if I so choose, uh, which I generally do, like I said, because I like to keep a, a local uh, GitLab server, um, you know, here at my house anyway. So um, that's all I got. Um, hope you found this useful. Check out our other videos. If you like what you see or if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below. Also, please feel free to leave me any comments, questions, feedback, suggestions, uh, requests, whatever you want down in the comment section below. I definitely like hearing feedback from you guys. And uh, other than that, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.